Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How the hell are we doing? It is a crispy eight degrees Celsius in Melbourne. You know, beach weather. I got a coffee. Got some tunes. I got you guys. Fucking outstanding. Good morning. Cherry Badger. G'day, Mill. Hello, Subsoiled. Morning, APOC. Morning, Carl's. A good Melbourne morning. Crispy one for you. Morning, Sally. Sean F. Good morning. Uh, hey, 30. Hey, Miv. Mm. All the anxiety of flying around is over. Security always sets you off. I know it always seems like something's gonna happen when security's all there getting tense about shit. You got through it. <coughs> Aussie customs is stricter than over there. I don't think so, man. You guys have got TSA. They'll fucking have a panic attack about anything. Are we really that bad? All oh, right, we've got border patrol and stuff. They like have ad juice. What the fuck? Oh. Right. That's crazy. Okay, fair enough. What? Luke Kelly, good morning. Oh, apparently Sev had to fucking burn some shoes at the airport because there was mud on them. Like, never mind. Apparently ours is crazy. You were? You were 12 and you were sad. Of course you were sad. Um, they were, and they would have been your favorite shoes. Your only pair of shoes. Never mind. Okay. Apparently we're fucked. But it's also because we have, we don't have a lot of, this is what Sev was just telling me. Because we don't have a lot of like, uh, the, there's there's a lot of f foreign <laughs> infections and diseases that we just don't have. Like we don't have rabies, for example. No rabies in the country. Um, and you know things like ticks and bugs and little things that are normal part of the ecosystem anywhere else, uh, we don't have and would potentially fuck a lot of shit up. So, yeah, apparently they have to be super careful about stuff. There you go, I didn't know. Who locked? Good morning. Made the terrible decision of going on Facebook? Yeah, no, don't do that. Prompted, promptly reminded of how much nothing you've done with your life? Hey, you're still here. You're living, that's all you have to do. Nothing more is expected or demanded, you're still here and some sometimes that is fucking more than enough living is to just stay alive. So you're doing that, and that's great. But I will say, fuck Facebook. And also, yeah, people only share their shit. People like to pretend they do all sorts of stuff. Take a photo of a book cover and then set the book down and never read it.
Ham, good morning. Plod scare, good morning. Luke, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Just uh, gonna paint some minis. We'll paint a mini. I only want to paint one today. Uh, I'm starting super late, which I'm aware of. Uh, I was say, had a late night, so I've uh, had a late wake up. Hi, baby. Good morning. According to Jen Oz at 2 a.m. this morning. Yeah, they wanted me to do stuff. Uh, the only slot they had open for me was tomorrow, but it's going to be after the gig. There's no fucking way I'm streaming after a gig. I'll be fucked. Oh, I didn't get to, um, I didn't get to be part of Gen Oz this year. Missed it. I wanted to, though. I love, I love helping out Gen Oz when I can. Why did your entry sound not play? It should have. There's been all sorts of weird fuckery. YouTube, um, my YouTube stream started playing the record music again. And I had to stop and start the stream at the start of the, um, just at the start. I had to do it again. Well, everyone's messages are playing. Why are you sound not playing? This is not a purposeful thing. Settings. No. Maybe I need to reset. Yeah, a bunch of start stuff has decided to change what audio devices it plays out of. Streamer bot. Can you play sound through the system please uh, i'm just going to reset everyone's thing reset there we go someone try again who has a welcome sound i want to make you a welcome sound babe you need one no it didn't play what the fuck's that about oh I know why it didn't play. Oh, piece of shit. There they are. I didn't have the sound effect um, scene in this scene. Fixed it. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Um, we're gonna paint this guy today. There you go. Scout Sniper. Um, if you've seen my other Blood Angels, you'll know how I'm gonna do the armor. Maybe a little less weathered? You know how I'm gonna do the armor though, generally. But, he's got this sick cloak. And I don't know what to do about the cloak. You know? Historically, they've been camo. So do I do like an urban camo? Do I make it something like just black? Make it a black cloak, a gray cloak? I, I, that's really my sticking point here. I don't know what to do about camo. It's 12 Celsius. Yeah, it's fucking cold here. It's eight, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's bumped up to nine. There you go, we've gained a degree. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we can do about the, um, about the camo without it being, um, without it looking silly. 
I also have never painted a camo pattern. Um, so I guess we'll see how it goes. We're also listening to the No Man's Sky soundtrack again because it's beautiful and I love it. Okay. Hi. Uh, hey, yeah, that's the right button. Mm. <clears throat> they drop in and out of stream. We'll be very behind. Current download speed is single digits. Fuck it, hell. <laughs> Hotel Wi-Fi, huh? What a fucking pain. Hey, Newton, what's going on, dude? Congrats again on um, graduation. All done. Very exciting for you. Oh. You all like her for charity? Oh, I bet you looked fucking great, bud. Um... I got a gig tonight uh and there's a lot of really cool people coming rob and evie rob ramble and evie blanche had to pull out because um uh their ids are expired and i don't know if they'll get in without them i don't know i don't know how that works so no rob ramble and no evie blanche tonight but Still a, still a very good crew the cunts coming, so looking forward to it. We'll be there in about 12 hours, and 13 hours from now we'll be on stage. So I've got a few hours here to paint some minis and chill. Listen to some tunes. Still need to drill out that barrel. Uh, paint this guy. Listen to some tunes, talk some shit. Uh, and then I've got the day to prepare. I've got my, my gig, my gig bag all set up. Um, that's the merch bag underneath, which has shockingly little merch in it. We've only got like size smalls and a lot of singlets and that's it. <laughs> um, and a bunch of stickers. Like we have like fuck all merch. We need to do another merch order. Uh, and then that's my 
mic mic bag freshly painted spray painted it this week um there's my mics and various tapes and uh the base of my mic stand is in there and my little kit thanks bowie it should be a good night i'm keen and got a got a really cool crew coming out tonight so it should be a good one just for you carls it was a pers purposeful decision we purposefully didn't stock up on new merch <laughs> <laughs> just just so we'd only have your side <laughs> we do need to fucking go through them though because we've got like nothing left we need new designs really is a bigger problem we only have like one merch design we need more I want to do something with the new album art but Fucked if I know what. <laughs> it's it's the, the Carl's line. That's what we've called it. The Carl's line of merch. <laughs> um, I'm not going to start painting just yet. I might need to move my camera. This thing. But he's got this big old rifle. Let me drill out this barrel now so I don't forget. Yeah, Pete Moss is headlining tonight. Who told you that? How'd you know? Telling you he's real. Pete Moss is going to be there. Rob and Evie had to pull out. Uh, what a fucking hell of a coincidence that is. Are you suggesting that Rob Ramble was Pete Moss this entire time? Because not only would that be incredible. But I think it's true. If I go any deeper than that, I might break it. <laughs> Insert your own joke here. That's a good one. I like I like that. Get a salty sacred. I might, I might pitch that to the band. One joke shirt is never a bad idea. I haven't seen Pete Moss, Rob Ramble, or Evie Blanche all in the same room at the same time. Now granted, I don't know what Pete Moss looks like. There we go. That's one drilled out barrel. Use a service called Reverb? Uh, Reverb Nation? Hey Bruni, how you doing? Saw the news about what happened in Australia. What happened in Australia? Yeah, my friends, family, everyone's safe as far as I'm aware. What happened? 
I mean, what happened this time? <laughs> yeah, no, everyone, everything's all right. I think. Oh, the Sydney thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was I, I. That was a pretty. That was in Sydney, so it wasn't anywhere near me or anyone, any of my family or anything. Um, I don't think I have any friends in Bondi. I don't think. Um, very popular town, beach town. Um, but no, no. I, 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 as far as I'm aware, everyone's all right, except for the people who aren't. As a result of it, um, I haven't had anything like that happen here in a very long time. Um, fucking shame. Fucking shame. But no, every, every, everything's, every, everyone, everyone else is all right, I suppose. <laughs> I say everyone's all right. Not everyone is all right. People aren't here anymore, but. Yeah, no, fucking terrible thing. Nowhere near me though. Sydney's uh, nine hour drive away from me. And Mill, what's Reverb? You mean Reverb Nation? I know Reverb Nation. That's like a uh, band camp type thing where you upload music to. But I don't know. Uh, uh, Reverb. Just called Reverb? I have to paint over. To paint over his... Uh... I have to darken this guy's hole a little. Sorry. It's all the metal paneling under here is going to be red. Like a chipped red. Because he's a blood angel. That's what they do. Um, the cloak. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about the cloak. Urban camo on red could look cool. Um... Uh, a creamy kind of gray could look cool, like the inside of Admech floats. Maybe. But I mean, he's a sniper. He would want to be kind of hidden, right? So I feel like camo is the way to go, but I don't know how to paint camo, which we could try and figure it out. It's a musical instrument shopping site, right? Yeah, no, I'd. I'd Never heard of it. Maybe we don't have it here, or we don't use it here. Reverb Australia. Oh yeah, no. We certainly have it. It's like an eBay. The music gear. Doesn't seem to have a lot of people using it, but... There's stuff posted here. I haven't seen anything cheaper than fucking 500 bucks yet, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. There you go, Mel. We do have it. We don't use it. Yeah, Sydney's a while away from us. We're, um... Hmm... Mm. Make sure this doesn't have any information. That could potentially get me in trouble. No. Seems good. The disc did just finish, but uh, this is. Yeah, good enough. That's Melbourne to Sydney. Melbourne's all the way down the bottom. Um, on the mainland and yeah an hour and 20 minutes by plane which is actually pretty long like I've had s flights from Melbourne to Sydney that are 45 minutes um, or yeah eight and a half hour drive it's a pretty big pretty big gap I've done that drive a few times it is long <laughs> 
<laughs> it is a long drive. It's not that it's... The problem with the drive from Melbourne to Sydney is not that it's a long drive. It's that it's a fucking boring drive. There is just nothing for vast stretches of the drive. Um, like, there's just nothing. Um, and so it's really easy to sort of... You, you get bored, you think about stuff if you're not listening to something or, um, you know, talking to someone. You just, like, there's, there's a... People can nod off because it's such a monotonous fucking drive. Um, it's, yeah. Wagga Wagga looks like a hit place to be. I've never been. I don't think. Oh, I, I might have stopped in Wagga Wagga to pick up fuel along the way or something. I don't think I've ever actually stayed. Don't go to surfers? Yeah, surfers is fine if you're into that kind of thing. The problem with surfers is that it's a tourist trap, so of course it's going to be expensive. Hi, Haru. Is this what we're doing? Are we playing this game again today? Hi, baby. Are we, are we going to play this game again today where you jump up on my desk more than you do any of the other times of the week? You never give me this much attention, but as soon as I'm doing something, now is when we need to do this. I love you. You're a fucking menace. It's always the painting, yeah. Okay, right, bye. I've learned to preemptively grab my cup. So that she doesn't get cat hair in it. You miss Odie already, yeah? A couple of days. It'll be alright. I'm sure he's very happy where he is. The three hour flights from Tassie to Melbourne that need to stop off in Sydney. That makes no fucking sense to me. I don't understand why they do that. <laughs> She's a good cat. A pain in the ass, but she's a good cat. <laughs> As all good cats should be. You're gonna grow your long hair back out, Salty? Fuck yeah. Do it. Get on it. When does bread top open? You gonna get some bread top? I'm trying to also remember who's coming out tonight. Um it's a pretty, pretty decent crowd. We'll go and get some bread tub together. <laughs> I'll be at the venue super early because of sound check and stuff. Uh, and, you know, get everything uh, set up. But I think Placey's scouting around for uh, somewhere to go and catch up with everyone before the gig. Go and get some lunch or something. Or some dinner. I can't eat too soon before I go on stage. Otherwise, I'll fucking vom everywhere. Awful. Had it for five years and you cut it, you cut it for someone, but you don't feel like you without it. Well, there's your first mistake. You cut your hair for someone else. That person should fuck right off. <laughs> Whoever it is. <laughs> GYG Brecky Burrito. Oh my God. Yeah. Get all over it. Yum, 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 yum. GYG is good stuff. I have, um, 
I might need to move the camera. Because if I'm going to be painting, I'm probably going to want to paint like... Where do I want him? Probably here. Which is not where the camera is. I get you salty i thought maybe you'd done it for a partner you know you had like a girlfriend who was like you gotta cut your hair which you know you get people like that and so my response was to tell them to go fuck themselves but no that makes more sense i get you i feel you cheesed pants going on cheesed pants how are you yeah, salty. I thought, that's what I was gonna say. Like, fucking hell, mate. What are, you, what are you doing? Don't do that. That's no good for anybody. I get you. I wouldn't tell someone's grandma to go fuck themselves. It depends on the grandma, I suppose. Generally, I don't think I would. I'm polite. I'm a polite person. I like to think I'm a polite person anyway. I try to be. I certainly don't ever try to be rude. Some people I'm rude to by default. But that is a very, 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 very small minority of people. Looks like a Vindicare assassin. He's a blood angel. Sniper. But... Vindicare's a fucking cool. And if I thought that they had any viability in the game, like I want to get one just to paint one because they're fucking cool. Yeah, not enough big enough, but a big enough rifle for them, right? All the assassins are cool. I like them. Use a toothpick to clear out this gun barrel. for Space Marine 2. You know, I still haven't played Space Marine 1. We should do that. We should do that leading up to Space Marine 2's launch. He's a pretty hefty boy. And he's got this sick base that has um, a little bit of terrain on it. I have to figure out what I'm doing with that, but his knee sits on this back piece and his foot slides into there. So he'll be like that. On there. But we'll paint these two pieces separately. Very cool. So the armor. Ad scared the shit out of you? Sorry, Bowie. I ripped up. I love you. Why? Why are you doing this to me? We're going to cover him in brown, which I know seems counterintuitive. We're going to cover all of his armor in brown. And then we're going to go in with some red over the top of that. And then we'll shade the red line the panels a little scuffs and marks we'll do all of his uh he's got this like ammo pouch thing here he's got his scrolls um and then i need to figure out what we're doing with this cloak so let me pull up a reference um 
to, 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 to what, I'm, what I'm looking at here. Um, my blood angels have historically, at least the assault intercessors. This guy could be a little less chipped and a little less grimdark. Like he could be a little more vibrant. But this is the vibe. Ah, that's your claws in my leg. Was it worth it? Was it worth jumping up and clawing my leg just so you can get down in three seconds? I love you. Ow. She like tried to jump up, scrambled, missed, and just used my leg as the clawing up point. Ow. All right. Didn't mean it. That's just how you get around. Fine. But this is how my blood angels look. It's a, it's a, it's def it's a chipped and sort of faded red. You know, they've been around for a while. So if this guy was going to wear a cloak, what would that cloak look like? You know, he's a sniper wearing a cloak. Would it be a kind of cream cloak? Would it be just a deeper red? Like a super deep red to keep with the red theme. Um, would it be a, an urban camo? Would it be a digital camo pattern? Black with red on the trim? You can see that. And a night ops. Sweetie, it's paint. Sweetie, it's... Stop! <laughs> Cat, why are you like this? Stop, you need to stop. It's time to stop. Time to stop is now. A more basic camo, like a traditional military standard green kind of camo. Grays and a little black, yeah. In theme cloak would be nice, but if he's a sniper, he'd be wanted he'd wanted to be camouflaged, right? But what terrain is he gonna be in? Well I've put a lot of them in like city streets. Which is why I'm leaning towards an urban camo look. No, you're thinking precisely as deep as I am. <laughs> Haruka, what are you doing? I love you. Like, he's a sniper in... I mean, he'd be a sniper in any situation, but specifically, these guys I'm, I'm painting as if they're standing in city streets. Is that a good spot? You can stay there. I'd love if you stayed there. That's a perfect spot for you. Blacks and greys. Well, because we've got like urban camo. You know, like I could do something like this kind of pattern. Which, I mean, I don't know how to paint that convincingly, but... That uh, on the back of the red, maybe. Don't want it to look silly. Which one of these? I suppose whichever one's easy to paint. There's no way I'm going to be able to paint the digital, the pixel look. There's no way. I can't paint in squares. 
So it's going to be somewhere along here. That first one could look pretty neat, and it's only two colors. What are you doing, baby? Hunting something? You look like you're hunting something. No, you're just rubbing on everything. Love you. <laughs> Less is more. Yeah, you're right. If we start adding whites and stuff, it might get a little hectic. Okay. So maybe one or four. Just depending on the pattern. I'll see if I can come up with a color that matches these because it's not quite black and it's not quite gray. There's a kind of greeny gray in there. Use more gray than black, but maybe we can start it with gray and then splotch on some other stuff and get a cool camo blend going. Cool. Yeah, any whites would be too bright. They haven't got any white on them at all. Red, blacks, Browns, grays. So, I mean, I've got, I've got this. If I blend this with a little bit of black, rather than going oh, like full black, together would look very cool. This and a darker version of this. Just a smid. Hmm. So we have his armor in red. We have his cloak in gray and darker gray. Um, I have this for his green visor. Well, he's got just a little bit. Can't really see it. He's kind of looking straight down the barrel. The scope. Maybe that can be a scope thing. Um. I have some dust, I have some leather, I have some steel um, for metallics. Um, I have some gray for the gun. I reckon we're groovy, I reckon we're good to go. Um, does anyone have a recommendation for a record to listen to? Uh, any particular vibes? Do we want chill? Do we want particular game. I have a discog link. Just while I'm in the prime opportunity to change the disc. And let me pull it up. Uh -uh. Show me all. Show me all. Persona 5? I don't have Persona 5. I wish I did. Uh, we've just been listening to No Man's Sky. I've got soundtracks. God of War. I've got some metal and some folk. A lot of Bon Iver. The closure. Movie soundtracks. Game soundtracks. Apparently the music from Persona is very good. I wish I had that one. I haven't played Persona though, and it feels wrong to have the soundtrack to a game <laughs> I'm not familiar with, you know? Feels weird. 100% positive it's not being played on YouTube. I triple check. 100% positive. My band is some Ghost. I don't have my band on vinyl. But I do have Ghost. Cowboy Bebop. Let's do some Ghost and then Cowboy Bebop. Works for me. I am going to flip the disc, grab my water, um, grab all my brushes and shit. And then, um, uh, not my brushes, sorry, my, um, all of my, my tools. I gotta have my tools. All the things I need. Give me five. Put some color on this boy.
Hello. Welcome back. Keep the lid to my water at hand. Ghost was a good call. Scotsman. Good morning, man. Feeling sore and tired and don't want to get out of bed. You coming out tonight? Hey, cheers for the follow, mate. Welcome in. Okay. Fuck, it's cold out there. brush do we need nothing too precise brecky burrito then head on over to the graves for some coffee the graves coffee is pretty good huh warm my warm up my fingies Then did Darius's and then um into the gig. Nice dude. What's happening at Darius's today? Um I'll be there way before doors. I don't know what time everyone else is getting there. I reckon I'll be there at like five. Because so I'd like to get in early, get a get a car park. Um, sound check and stuff. Oh, it's Heidi's birthday. Gotcha. hairs everywhere. Well, make sure you say hi to everyone for me. Luna lived with them. What is she not anymore? I don't know how any of I don't know the ins and outs of all my friends fucking shit. I should pay better attention. <laughs> So I'm putting down, um, it's called Rhinox Hide is the color. And it's this, uh, brown. It's a little, just the slightest tinge of red to it, but it's pretty brown. Hey, a guy! 
that toxic industry. Toxic, good morning. No longer have tinnies. Did they finally tell you you fucking can't do your job? Is it the injury? That's so fucked, bro. I'm so sorry. Fuck, dude. Like, I get it. But you'd think they'd be like, all right, well, just come back when you're all recovered and you can keep doing what you're doing. I'm really sorry, dude. That's fucked. He hasn't actually got a lot of visible armor, this guy. They can't wait the week. As if they can't wait a week. It's going to take them longer than a week to find someone else to do the job. It'll be cheaper to wait the week. You know what I mean? Otherwise they have to like put out job listings again and rehire someone and onboard someone else. Oh, you're temping? Well, still, fuck them. Fuck the cunts. Is that Bruges? Good morning, Bruges. Hi, right, dude. This goes to show, man, no business is your friend. Not one. Profits will always come first. Gift sub to Toxic. Well, there's one less thing to worry about for the month, I guess, dude. Um, Pink Flamingo, thank you very much for the gifty, man. Looking after me, looking after Toxic. Toxic, welcome back, man. Pink, how are you? Good morning. I should really have this guy on a stand of some sort. Feels wrong just manhandling him. Workers like you too? Yeah, man, of course. Wage slaves like anyone else. The fucking head honchos at the top who are out of touch with the world and, you know, how real people are. Always a fucking way. Wage slaves will always get it.
I don't think that'll be very visible. In there will be though. Tired Bruges, got like three hours of sleep this afternoon. Should keep you going. He had a doctor's appointment this morning, right? So he didn't get to just enjoy being asleep. Almost all of the armor and metal plating. The fine coating of brown. What I like about this guy is there's not really any fiddly bits. The fiddliest part is his gun, and that's pretty secure. Dropping 75% of your subscriptions to everything? Yeah, dude, do it. No harm done here if you got to drop it for your, um, for your own, drop it here for your own sake, you know? Sacred, that thing you sent me, I've seen that and I fucking love it. It's awesome. Show me that before. Um, it's so cool. Love that art. Someone who's done art for um, Metallica. Very fucking sick. One sec. That's really cool, Carl. So like 20 minutes away. I mean, Chinese for dinner. Nice, Mill. Love Chinese. There we go. Now I can really see what I'm doing. Just in time for the disc to be done. Ugh. 
And we'll, uh, we'll listen to Cowboy Bebop after this. I've never really vibed with yellow. Um, but sometimes it can look really fucking good. Like the right yellow in the right circumstance. I mean, I'm a purple guy. I love purple. That was purple's perfect cue to join. Anyone who's seen My Hero Academia, I always think he's singing in this song, I, I want to be with you all might. Because he doesn't quite hit the N the way that I would expect because of his accent. But it sounds like he's saying, I just want to be with you all might. Wait for it. It's in the chorus. You'll hear it. If you're in YouTube chat. You hear it? Bewitch you. Want to bewitch you, yeah. I can hear that. This is probably my favorite ghost album. It's the album I like the most songs from. They've got bangers on every album, and this album does not have my favorite ghost songs on it, but my favorite album, because I like more songs from it than others. Like Meliora, I didn't love every song off that. There were early stuff I liked, but I didn't love every song. I saw them after their second album came out, and that was, that was pretty sick. accidentally got red in a crevice that I did not want to get red into.
He's already starting to get that red finish that I like. Finish Dragon Quest 3 today, yeah? Final thoughts? Fucking great, yeah? Getting there. We'll re clarify a lot of these um, lines that are there. Like, I'm losing a little bit of definition. So, we'll come back in at some point. Line those panels. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Banger. Such a good album. 
probably my favorite. Again, doesn't have my favorite songs, but I like almost every song off this. Like, I don't think there's any songs on this that I don't like. Raindog, good morning. What's going on, man? Keen to catch up tonight. Yeah, it's a pretty good vibe, Cherry. It's not something that I could do all the time. Like I, you know, I need to balance it out with other stuff. But on a day like today, where I, you know, I don't want to fucking use all my energy that I'm going to need for tonight. Um, to just listen to some tunes. Splash some color around. Have a chat. It's a pretty good vibe. Rain, we did you catch up with Carl's and Previous last time they were here? No, last time they were here was for Baby Metal. Did you come to the closure gig for PAX? Were you there? Can't remember. Closure. That night was such a fucking blur. Oh yeah, closure night was the night that I fucking choked on your, uh... You know what I'm talking about? Choking on your stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, stuff. Yeah, sorry, they don't work on this one. I, I could set them up to work on the mini painting streams, but I feel like everyone would get bored and just use them all. I don't know how boring this is. looking pretty similar to how I want it to look. I don't want it to be too red in certain spots. We can always bring it back down. got a mask on. I don't know what to do about that. I've only had, um, there's one disappointment for tonight and that's that Evie and Rob can't make it. That's, that sucks. But otherwise, it'd still be a good time. Ugh. Yeah, their fucking IDs expired, so they're worried they won't get in without it. I don't think they'll need it. But I don't want to fight the point and be like, no, no, just come anyway. And then, you know, they show up and can't get in, you know. Like they have, they have ID, but it's expired. Better renew it. Which, like, I get. I've been there. Fucking pain in the ass. Hmm. 
He missed a little bit of red on his foot, but I reckon I can probably get away with just covering that in dust. Look, here's the situation, guys. Look, I don't think they'll need it. I don't think it would be a problem. But again, I don't want to be the guy to say, no, 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 come on down anyway. It'll be fine. And then it's absolutely not fine, you know. I don't want that to be a thing that happens. Some venues card um, just to have a name on record. Like that, even if you're 75 years old, you know, they card you just so that they have a record. It's not about um, proof of age. It's like, if something goes wrong, we know who you are kind of thing. Not everywhere does it, and it's a bullshit reason, but it's like, they just have to scan everyone's ID. risk right but if you guys want to give him a stern talking to feel free <laughs> do you not have a card either rain well there you go well, it might be all right then This is just pooling. This is not at all working the way that I wanted it to. It's just wet. Yeah, A Park, it's beautiful. I love this one. ballad
Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's the end of the disc. You know what? The gray's kind of doing it for me. That's pretty sick. Kind of fucked up how thin I made it. Hey, Solomon, what's up, dude? Well, I mean, if you can get in with that ID, then um, we'll tell Rob and Evie. Even if they just bring the ones they've got, and they're like, yeah, they're expired, but we're still proving who we are. Should still be able to come, right? Oh, well, let's go peer pressure Rob and Evie into coming anyway. <laughs> I haven't responded just because I saw it when I woke up and I've been sort of go, go, go since then. Um, all right, I'm going to change this disc over and then have a ciggy. Got a little bit of pepper in your beard. You don't get carded anymore. Yeah. Ninety seven. I'm ninety five. Yeah, but you know what, like, overzealous fucking Melbourne bouncers can be like. You know the type. And it only takes one of those types to ruin a good night, you know? 86, really? Oh, shit. Um, let's listen to some Cowboy Bebop. I'll be right back. Three, two, one, let's jam.
Yo. Welcome back. How you doing? Oh, thanks for hanging out, friends. Can get a more even coat on that gray. Uh, Leo Lion, what's going on, mate? How are you? Is it your first time here? The whole point of carding is about underage drinking. Yeah, I just know plenty of bouncers who have been funny about it. Like, even if you look at they follow protocol at all times. But I reckon we can convince Evie and Rob. Be held criminally and fiscally responsible for any crimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The rule, the law here is if someone's drunk, you can't serve them drinks. So you can only serve someone so many drinks before you have to legally stop. Because if they get fucking smashed at your venue and then drive their car into a building next door, you can be held responsible because it's like, well, you got them there, you know? You got them that drunk. If it turns out that they have, you know, a super high blood alcohol level or something. So you can be fucked that. It's a duty of care thing, you know? Yakaroth, good morning. What's up, dude? How are you? Go raid the stream. Carl's knows my address, but <laughs> take too long to get here. Too much working around. It's cold. Cold morning. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw it on the break screen because uh, the chat was still up. Someone came into the YouTube chat on the be right back screen and just said, "Paint, please." <laughs> Even though it says we'll be right back, you know, in pretty clear lettering immediately below the model that you want painted. <laughs> okay, I'm very clearly not at the desk right now. And I see a message like that and it makes me not want to paint anymore. I'm like, no, fuck you. You don't tell me what to do. Now I'm going to purposefully not paint. So my address at some point? Yeah, man. Sounds like an excuse, yeah. <laughs> I could be painting telepathically. I'm sorry, you're right. I'll just get my manservant to paint the models for me. Isn't that what I pay him for? Why enjoy my own hobbies? You have to use your hands? It's like a child's toy. <laughs> Solomon, shut up. Timed like perfectly with the music. Purple, what's going on, man? Good morning. That was like awesome timing. And the beauty of it is you can't even clip it. Because the music is not audible on YouTube or in the VOD. That was just a little gift for us to enjoy. Eat the paint. <laughs> it says non-toxic. <laughs> Do 
Doing all right, Bowie. Pretty cruisy day. Got some tunes rolling. Got some paint flying. Some good company. You know what I was doing yesterday? Last night. I was listening to a whole bunch of Studio Ghibli stuff. I also have to start getting into my head that it's Ghibli, not Ghibli. Even though I want to say Ghibli, it is Ghibli. Uh, I was just listening to a bunch of Studio Ghibli music and, um, man, does it put you in a certain way, doesn't it? How do you use a sponge? Build highlights? Uh, I don't use a sponge. I'm all brushes. Building highlights uh, is just a slow, you know, a slow process of getting lighter and lighter colors and putting them where you think light should be. Um, Leo, but I, I don't use a sponge for that. I just use a brush. I've seen people use sponges by holding them with tweezers, breaking off a little bit of sponge and you know dabbing it on oh, I don't do that it would probably give me a stippled effect that I want but I just like using a brush you know feels right comes down to your personal preference, your personal style, what effect you're going for, you know. If you want a very specific effect that can only be done by using a brush, uh, using a, a, a sponge, then, you know, I would go with that. But I'd argue you could do just about anything with a brush. It just takes longer. Dealer's choice, isn't it? No worries, Apoc. Take it easy, man. Also, pies are playing today, but I can't fucking stream the game. Use card for merchandise. Cash. Gotta be cash. We had a card reader, but uh, it doesn't work anymore. It's all gonna be cash. But I think we are going to invest in a card machine at some point. It just fucking pains in the ass. Because you've got to connect them to your phone and then, like, connect your phone to the bank. The right bank. The band bank. And then you got to keep your phone, like, near it and, like, Bluetoothed to it, I think. Or, like, wirelessly connected to it somehow. It's a big fucking pain in the dick. But it is doable. Cowboy Bebop, yeah. Banging, right? Hey, Al, what's going on, dude? Of course, I just did that. How do you paint skin? Depends on whose skin we're painting. Dark skin, light skin, green skin, pale skin. I think 
everyone's got their own different ways of doing it. Everyone's got their own recipes for doing it. I haven't quite nailed it. Space Marine skin, yeah, but I mean, even that doesn't narrow it down, you know? Like, we've got... Salamanders have all got quite dark skin. But if you just mean, like, you know, a standard Caucasian male tone... very generic white flesh tone use a combination of um cadian flesh is one that people use that's a gw paint a citadel paint uh use a bit of that some people use bugman's glow some people darken it with washes some people just use contrast paint your best bet would probably be to be to look up a tutorial um, which I don't really do because I'm not I don't consider myself good enough to teach <laughs> there are black people in the Warhammer 40k empire yeah they may be horrible bigots and racist to anything that's not human but I don't believe there is any differentiation in uh, skin colour Though, many <laughs> are white. <laughs> Specifically a lot of space marines, because, um, gene seeds and all that. But this is in the canon. And the thing with the Warhammer 40k canon... ...is that it's malleable. It can change. It was never really meant to be... This is something I was looking into recently. It was never really meant to be documented the way that it is. Because the idea is, you know, 40,000 years of war, people deleting history, rewriting history, people enforcing different forms of teaching history. You weren't ever really supposed to document Warhammer 40K's lore. We just happen to do that because we can't help ourselves. But it is very malleable. And subject to change at any given point in time. History is decided by the victor and all that. Uh, I'm in Australia too, Leo. I'm in Melbourne. Did you're you're in Australia? The Jacksonville Jaguars signed a player from Australian football, Patrick Murtar. Do you know what team he played for, Solomon, in Australia? Which character is on the album cover for this? On the cover? It's Spy, you know? I don't know, but the disc just finished, so perfect time to check. You're in Tassie, Leo. Very cool. We've got some friends from Tasmania. Uh, in fact, we have friends from Tasmania who are currently in Melbourne. Small world. I do know Tasmania. 
just underneath us. Love the Tazzies. He played for the Suns, right? Very cool. And who are the Jaguars? Is it football? I don't know teams very well. That happens a lot. Um, Aussie AFL players will go over uh, to the US to play football as... Um, uh, oh, who are the cunts that kick it real far? <laughs> What's that called? NFL? Is he just called a kicker? What do you call those guys? A kicker. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of Aussies will go over there because um, the way that we learn to kick a Aussie football, a punter, the way that we learn to kick an Aussie football uh, it requires a lot of strength and a lot of, um, like, leg <laughs> movement, like, that is designed for power. Uh, and it turns out that that exact movement uh, and the power that you sort of learn as an Aussie footballer directly translates to being a very very far kick as a um as a punter in nfl so a lot of a lot of aussies will go over there and play and them not even trying particularly hard will kick as far as someone who's been kicking for 20 years you know <laughs> just because of the, the similarity in the in the movement in the sport it's really interesting an early one was uh, Severio Rocca. He went over, uh, I believe, in the 90s. Um, he played for Collingwood, North Melbourne. Um, I think Brisbane, maybe? And yeah, he went over and played in the States. When did I start painting? Um... tough one because I've been on and off for a few years you know I, I paint for a while and then I don't paint for a while um but I first started painting in like December 2020 2019 maybe no it was December 2020 because it was we'd moved by the time I painted my first model and we didn't move in 2019 so I guess you could say four years. Almost, or three three and a bit years, but I haven't been painting that whole time. I took six months off, you know? And I'll I sort of take break here and there. It hasn't been three and a bit years of consistent painting. <laughs> I'm still not very good, but you know. I enjoy it. I'm still learning. There's always more to learn. Well, I know that I didn't get any models until 2020 because it was after lockdown, uh, while we were in lockdown, sorry, and we weren't in lockdown in 2019. That kicked off in 2020. I think I was talking about it in 2019, but I don't think I actually pulled the trigger and bought any models. My first models were Adeptus Mechanicus. And then I very quickly got some Necrons. Because Necrons are fucking awesome. Yeah, Rocker, there's a name, right? Dude, Anthony Rocker was my favorite player. Rocker and Buckley. Just fucking powerful humans, you know? Apparently Buckley's been going through some shit lately. Um, Something happened, he got divorced and he had to sell like all of his memorabilia. 
from years of playing footy. His trophies and his medals he had to sell. And apparently he's only just recently been able to buy them back. But imagine that, a lifetime of achievement. Medals and, you know, victories and things that he said he wanted to donate to the clubs and the AFL. And he had to sell them in, a, in his divorce settlement. Uh, for some reason or another. Money, I guess. Um, and he's only just recently been buying them back. But he, 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 he hasn't got all of it back. He's got his Coleman trophies back, I think. Uh, I have painted one orc. <laughs> one. <laughs> I've started a few others, but I have finished one orc. I have some models in every army that I have painted. Terminators? I've got some Terminators. He's a bit bawdy. But I like Primaris models in general. I think they look way better. Their proportions look right, you know? For anyone unfamiliar, um, Warhammer models used to be a bit shorter, a bit stumpier. Um, and over the years, they've sort of improved uh, how they look. And they did it via canon. They did it in story by saying, oh, those old, short, stumpy space marines, they're firstborn space marines. So they're older, they're more experienced, uh, you know... Um, but they look physically different and are a bit smaller. But now we've got these new guys, the Primaris, and they have been genetically engineered to be better in every way. <laughs> um, they're taller, they're faster, they're stronger, but they lack the experience of the old guard. Uh, and so that was their excuse for coming out with an entirely new range, an entirely new model. Um, but I think they look better. I don't like the old stumpy models. Mr. Feudal, what's up, dude? How are ya? Good to see you, bro. Feudal's another, uh, another Blood Angels fella like myself. Anyone else here got Space Marines? What faction are you going with? I know Rob Ramble likes the Iron Fists. Yellow Boys. Are they Iron Fists? Yeah, nice, Feudal. Fuck yeah, dude. Sacred likes yellow too. You got Blood Angels as well, Leo? Yeah, I love Blood Angels. They're my favorite Space Marines. I don't know if Grey Knights count. I don't know if um, Custodies count as Space Marines because they kind of, sort of are. Are they Custodies? But of all the like factions, the Blood Angels are my favorite. Sanguinius, brother. Sanguinius. 
Similar to Grey Knights, more elite, more specialist. Yeah. Grey Knights. Cool. Is there still custodies? Right. They're just a different sect, I guess. Apparently the Warhammer world has been um, up in arms lately because they uh, they have added in the newest uh, update to Warhammer 40k a female custodies, a female space marine. And apparently the fanboys are very, very, very upset about that. Which I think is delicious and hilarious. Because I, for one, would love a female space marine. I think it's fucking sick. Right, Feudal? A giant, genetically enhanced, fucking superhuman woman clad in gold. What's not to like? Like, I very suddenly want to be an orc. You know? <laughs> As long as she's coming to, to fight some more, I'm interested. I don't get it, man. <laughs> the spirit is willing, but the body is spongy and sore. <laughs> I'm all about it. But, as usual, I don't think it's a Warhammer law problem. I think it's a men who hate women problem. Um, which you're not going to fix with uh, logic and reason. leads into exactly what I was saying earlier about the Warhammer lore is malleable. It always has been. They come up with new shit all the time. They literally, they took an old lore and instead of changing it or fixing it, they blew it up. Warhammer, Vermintide, that whole the end times stuff is from a Warhammer lore universe that doesn't exist anymore. because they decided to blow it up. They did a Final Fantasy 14 1.0. Ah, fuck guys, this isn't working. Just blow it up, we'll start again. And then they made Warhammer Fantasy or uh, Age of Sigma. That's what it is. But it's so funny. That they're like, oh, you can't just change the law like that. The custodies are all men. Why? Why are they all men? GW make the law, yeah, so they can change it on a whim. I found this uh, actually just recently. Um, hang on, where is it? I sent it to someone because it cracked me up. Like, you guys want to know what Space Marines looked like a while ago? <laughs> Tell me they're ruining the law by making changes. All right? <laughs> Space Marines looked like that. <laughs> Fucking shut up. Eat your orange. <laughs> then Total War blew up? Yeah. Dumb cunts will be dumb cunts. But again, this is not a law problem. This is not a game problem. This is a people who hate women problem. So, you know. Can't do much about that, really. All right. We've got this gray cloak so far. We'll, we'll text you that. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Boston, I think. All 
I don't know what color to make his. He's got like a cool mask under there. Like a gas mask or something. know what to do with that realistically I could glue him to his base the only reason I hadn't yet was for the underside of his cloak there's everything else we should be able to get to what I might do is darken it. Let it dry and then I'll glue him to his base and then it should be much easier to paint him after that. Is this part glued on or is that blue tacked on? That's just blue tacked on. a few steps of gluing to do here then hopefully i brought my glue yellow marks what on his mask thing yellow might stand out a bit but i like where your head's at I'm just going to glue that on and then I will darken under here. Uh, then I'll spin the disc. Yeah, I don't know. Warhammer lore is cool and I like that it can change at all times. You know, it's 40,000 years of war. Of course, shit's going to be misunderstood, misrepresented. That's just kind of what happened. Okay? We don't really know what happened 40,000 years ago on an, on this planet. Okay? Nor can we know what's going to happen 40,000 years from now. got these weird little digital looking tassel things here which i like but i don't know what to do with so i'm gonna leave them i'm gonna leave them and that can just be in shade and that's good enough for me uh you're gonna dry you're gonna get glued on Fucking get all of this plastic cement all over this motherfucker. Whoops. It's fine. <laughs> too much, not enough. Too much, not enough. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Pop that on there. And then you can dry. Cool. That's that little bit of terrain on there. And then once his cloak's dry and that's dry, I'll glue his feet to the base. Uh, and then we can work on the rest of it. Uh, it's eight o'clock now. We still got plenty of time. I've got nowhere to be just yet. Let me uh, change this disc. What are we going to listen to after Bebop? We've got one more disc to go. I have a Discogs link if anyone wants to have a look at my library. Uh, and pick something to listen to.
I don't have Dark Souls. I have Demon Souls and Bloodborne. No Dark Souls. Banger. Okay. Let them dry. Um. Oh man, I I'm interested in painting other factions of Warhammer. Blood Angels are my boys, right? They're my main fellas. If I'm taking an army into battle, I'm bringing Blood Angels, right? Just because I love them so much. But I want to paint like one model from every other faction just to do the art style, like to have one painted soldier from every like main um, chapter from 40k Space Marines. Wouldn't that be fucking cool? Like have a wall of painted minis, one for every, every like every main oh, chapter. Like, how many main this chapters are there? Skull! I can't see, you can't see. All that matters is can the fucking horse see? That's, That's a raid. raid. Scum, thank you very much for bringing your, uh, your friends around. What's going on, dude? How are you? What are you getting up to? Main Space Marine chapters. Like just the main boys. Dark Angels. The second legion that doesn't exist. The ninth legion doesn't exist, but we've got the first legion, Dark Angels, Emperor's Children, Iron Warriors, White Scars, Space Wolves, Imperial Fists, Night Lords, Blood Angels, Iron Hands, World Eaters. Oh, they're also showing Traitor Legions. I was going to say, hang on, Iron Warriors. Um... World Eaters, Ultramarines, Death Guard, Thousand Sons, um, Lunar Wolves, Sons of Horus, Word Bearers, Salamanders, Raven Guard, and Alpha Legion. Like one of each would just, and just have them on a wall. I'd never play them. I could even just do the Loyalist Legions too. Which gives us what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Space Marine. And I can paint them to the absolute best of my ability. Spend multiple days on one model and just get each one looking schmick. Get named characters. So expensive, man. Lionel Johnson, Jagadike Khan. Is there a Khan model? Lehman Russ, Rogel Dawn, Sanguinius. There's a Sanguinius model. Ferris Manus, Gulliman, Gulliman, Vulcan, Corvus Corax. Scum, you're playing No Rest for the Wicked. How was it, man? We're just painting some minis. I'm um, painting a Blood Angel today. Sniper. Listening to, uh, listening to some records and just taking it easy, dude. I hope you had a good time playing No Rest for the Wicked. Did we get a shout out for Scom? Uh, we should, if not. Um, Scom's great. Super comfy vibe over there. Um, Scom's fucking wonderful. I love lurking there when I can. Your poor favorite Warhammer Fantasy character they, they put your they put your favorite Warhammer Fantasy character through hell dialed the grim on his story up to 15 yeah what did they do to him still need some work to be done but you're loving every second of it fuck yeah man I love that that's killer okay as a, as a start like how many space marines do you get in a box space marine box 
Like if I just wanted a box of soldiers. Standard custody. Assault intercessors? No. Just standard intercessors, I think, is the one I want. Space Marine. Intercessors box. Primaris Intercessors. That's what I want. How many do you get? Went and looked at all the named characters. You get 10 in a box. So for one box of Intercessors... I could have one of every of the main... I could paint one of every Loyalist Legion. With one left over. Dude, all the named characters are awesome. They're just so expensive. Like... He, like, how much... Like, uh, Sanguinius has a model now, doesn't he? He's a hundred pounds. Two hundred Aussie dollars for Sanguinius. Fuck, it is a beautiful model, though. This guy is the, uh... Son of the Emperor. And the... The blood of this dude is in every um, blood angel. Fucking look at this cunt. I don't even think you can play him in Warhammer 40k. <laughs> I think he's just... I think you can play him in Horus Heresy. Spoiler alert, this guy gets fucking murdered. By Horus. The guy who turned on his emperor dad. Tried to kill him. Uh, and this guy's dying scream is heard in the, in the minds of all blood angels. Which sometimes drives them crazy. Warhammer is cool. <laughs> Warhammer is cool. You can play him in Horus Heresy, right. Gotrek. Highly recommend reading his story. Put it bluntly, as spoiler-free as you can. Damn near everyone has betrayed him somehow. Okay, fuck. But yeah, Sanguinius is a beautiful model. Beautiful sculpt. His wings, man. You reckon that's dry? Certainly is. You reckon that's dry? Certainly is. Let's stick him to his base. Yeah, Sanguinius did not go... Like, he didn't go down without a fight. It wasn't exactly, uh, you know... Horus walked up and crushed his skull. It was a fucking... Shit fight. And it was also pretty well planned out on Horus's part. Dude's name is Sanguinius. Like, isn't that the coolest shit? <laughs> Warhammer's fucking awesome, man. Oh. A bit of a time limit here. I mean, it was pretty bold of Horus to assume he could kill the Emperor. His dad. The strongest cunt that's ever lived, ever. He did some damage. Again, it's not like the Emperor fucking, you know, didn't put up a fight either. But he's looking a little worse for wear these days. Well, no, that's not true. He's technically still alive. Horus the fuck isn't. 
That would be wonderful, Tanuki. I'd love that. Like, there's not much of the Emperor left, but he is technically alive. Okay, I'm gonna not touch that while he stays, while he gets glued onto that face. Seriously, look at this fucking guy. Seriously. Bright golden armor and wings. Come the fuck on. Sanguinius. Oh! Fuck out of here. Gotrek. Gotrek Gurnison. Oh, he's a, he's a dwarf. Oh, he looks great. Love the Skaven corpses. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Look, that even that axe is just fucking awesome. So cool. <laughs> I love Warhammer, man, and I fucking hate that there are cunts trying to ruin it. Such a cool universe, you know? I've never been a fan of dwarves in any sort of thing. Like, they're not a faction of choice for me, but the fact that there are space dwarves is pretty crazy cool, man. Uh, Scom, thank you again for that raid, man. I know it was 10 minutes ago, but I just, I, I'm really grateful. Thanks for um, bringing your party of friends around, dude. We're keeping it pretty chill today. Pretty low energy, low, uh, low intensity painting in tunes, but kind of you. Just dwarves are not my first point of call when I'm thinking, you know, Oh man, fantasy universe. What's a cool thing about a fantasy universe? Dwarves aren't high on that list. Not my go-to. I like dwarves, don't get me wrong. I like orcs. I like elves. There are a few um, Warhammer factions that I don't have a lot of interest in. Tau, not particularly interested in Tau, and I'm not interested in collecting or building up an army of any other Space Marine chapter. Blood Angels are the only ones that ever really stood out to me. And I wasn't gonna even do Blood Angels until Soul King got me a big old box of Space Marines. Um, I'm not particularly interested in demons. I'm not particularly interested in a lot of chaos. Um, I've got plague marines, they're sick. Slanesh. Corn. Um, what other factions are there in 40K that I don't have? Look, they're cool. I, I like them all. I just don't want to spend money and collect them all and paint them all, you know? Tau are probably the ones I'm least interested in. I like a lot of their models, but I'm just not super interested. Loyalist world eaters? No. Before, is this pre-heresy? That's pretty sick.
That's pretty cool. I do love gold. Gold and white. And blue. That's such an odd color scheme that I wouldn't think of, but... It's American. <laughs> American flag, boys. <laughs> Dude, that axe, though. Yeah, no, he looks awesome. And those old, like, Darth Vader fucking helmets. Sick. I'm trying to think of other 40k factions that there are. 40k faction. I don't have any interest in collecting anything from Age of Sigma, anything from Fantasy, um, anything. I, I've got some Horus Heresy models, but apparently I can use them as um, regular ones. So I'm just. I. I think I'm. I think I've. Necromunda's cool. Not cool enough for me to want to really invest time and money into, but. Necromund is cool. Can I... I just want to look at... Okay, so we have... Space Marines. Templars. Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Death Wash, Grey Knights, Space Wolves. Space Wolves are probably, again, they're another one that I like, but... Mm. Um, Astra Militarum, I'm not interested in. Helldivers 2 minis? Get a little box of Militarum and paint them as Helldivers. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I'm not super interested in the guard. Um, it's a lot of models, and they're just dudes in World War II armor. Hey, Previs. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Previs. Yeah, I got sisters. I love sisters. Um, Adeptus Sororitas I have. Custodes I have. Um, Admech I love and have. They're, I would consider my main army is my Admech. Astra Militarum. Yeah, not terribly interested. Um, Chaos Space Marines. Death Guard I have. Thousand Suns are cool, but not, not for me. World Eaters, not for me, I don't think. And Demons, yeah, I don't know. And then Xenos, we got Eldari. Drukari are cool, not for me. Tyranids, I love my nids. Gene Stealer Cults, I do not understand. I do not understand why Gene Stealer Cults are separate from the Tyranids. They do not need to be a separate army. I get sort of why they are, but why can't they just be an inbuilt faction with, with the Nids? You know? I don't get it. Gene Stealer Cults do not need to be their own thing. Uh, Leagues of Votan, I'm not interested in, but I do love them. Necrons, I love my Necrons. I got Orcs, and yeah, I don't much care for now. Didn't even realize that disc had finished spinning. Edstar, good morning. Got on, man. The big smoke, yeah. <laughs> Chaos Sisters. Chaos Sisters is a cool concept. Yeah. I, 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 of all of the... I'm only missing a few armies. I've got fucking just about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Previs and Carl's are here. Just seeing you guys today. Seeing Rain, Marigold. We're going to try and bully Evie and Rob into coming. Um, Icy's coming. Scotsman's coming. It's going to be a good night. Finally, I can play a gig in front of all my friends where I don't jam my fucking thumb into my eye. <laughs> Kasaro Khan, yeah? I, I mean, again, I think I just want to do one white scar, you know?
Are you going to come, Eddie? Fuck yeah, dude. Again, hopefully I... It sounds better. And looks better and is better. Okay, Kasaro Khan's pretty cool. I'm not painting a bird. How the fuck has got a hawk? My grandson will turn your grandson into a hawk. <laughs> the eagle? What the fuck is that? I'm not painting that. You shitting me? It's cool. Dude, on the same arm, he's holding a fucking severed head by the hair. And on top of his hand is a fucking hawk. He's got three skulls on his back. That's too many skulls. Why oh, you got so many skulls? Jesus fucking Christ. Um. <laughs> I think this guy's almost dry, but I still see some wetness, which normally I go for. I like a bit of wetness, but on a Warhammer 40k model, uh, less good. So. If you guys don't mind, uh, it's 8.30. I'm just going to go have a dart, take a piss. I really got to piss is the other problem. It's the main problem, actually. I really just need to piss. So I'm going to flip this disc, take a piss. Look at this. Uh, shiss. And if anyone has a recommendation for whatever uh, record we listen to next, um, I'd love to hear it. This one's almost done. See you soon.
Yo. Welcome back. He should be dry. Very good. Get you on there nice and good. So far, so good. Let's uh, see what else we can get up to here. We'll do something to his gun. Not too sure what, yeah. Something. Kind of don't want to fuck with his armor because I already think it looks great, but I will. Because I think it can look better. Suppose I should do something to the cape. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at a camo pattern. Camo pattern. Where's that camo pattern? Just fuck it. I'm fuck in it. I don't know how to paint camo. There's another problem that I have. I'm going to take some black and I'm going to mix it with my gray. So that it darkens the gray. Not too much. So that it is in fact darker than the gray that's on there. And I'm just gonna try and uh, guess what a camo pattern should look like based on this reference that I'm looking at and hope it doesn't look like shit. Wish me luck. There's a fucking mold line on his shoulder, and it's gonna annoy me forever, but it's fine. Battle Brothers got you by the balls, yeah? Hi, kid. Now, what's going on?
this really this lady really wants us to kick the beat. called Mushroom Haunting. Is that looking like something? Mostly guessing. I don't really know what ammo is meant to look like. Had plans to go to the fruit and veg market today with your sister, but she got called into work last minute. Damn. Disc? No. Needle might need a clean. Damn, that is particularly fuzzy. Murphy, what's happening? Been looking for a bit, wanted to say hi. Good morning. It is Saturday here. Does that kind of look like camo or does it just look dirty? It's meant to look like an urban camo, but yeah, let me, um, let me fix this disc situation. <laughs>
Much better. Rev, what's going on, dude? Him. Welcome the fuck back. 43 months. Forty-three. Jesus Christ. The time it does fly. Thank you. Damn. Damn good to see you. Does it look like camo? Not really. Maybe I need to hit it with the gray again. Uh, what do we have votes on for the next record? So a vote for Bloodborne. looks dirty it doesn't look like camo and i don't really know why yakuza zero or like a dragon like a dragon you know i haven't listened to that one yet Camo is really hard. Olivia, what's happening? Eat noodles hanging out? Fuck yeah. It's looking a little camo-ish, but again, it's like, I want to differentiate it from just looking like it's covered in muck.
I mean, either way, it looks cool. I just don't know if it's the effect I want. I'll let that dry a little. And then I'll hit it with the... Hit it with the Agrax, maybe? Matte varnish would look pretty cool. A matte varnish over the armor. Uh, sorry, over the cloak. To make it look like a completely different texture. Because it is. Look at this mold line over his shoulder. I can't believe I missed that. Make it look like it was meant to be there. You just ran into someone weird while quick playing on Helldivers? What did they do? What was weird about him? Thanks, Scott. It's getting there. He's looking all right. Not this, please. I think we can make it better. It's certainly not bad. Oh, you ran into each other. Right. That's cool. I've had some funny types in Helldivers. People who show up. Fucking kill a teammate and then leave. I haven't Helldived the last couple of days. We've had too much stuff going on. And I'm pretty busy over the next few days. So I'm probably not going to get a chance until my weekend. Cool. Hopefully that hasn't uh, totally fucked it. I think that looks pretty sick. I just wanted it to stain, you know? And then I can come back in with another little layer of ammo and see how it looks. Beautiful.
I haven't listened to this record yet. Hell yeah, Scott. Enjoy, dude. Yeah, there's certainly less people in the uh, in the YouTube chat. That's all right. Come to expect it now. I need a few things. Namely, I need to decide what I'm doing with his face. Kill two billion Terminids? Jesus. That was the like collective or what it was finished in 14 hours. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> that's a lot. But if that's like for everyone to do, it wouldn't have taken long. <laughs> Dude, this is not at all the sound I expected from track one, disc one of the Like a Dragon soundtrack. Everyone does bugs instead of bots anyway. I, pref I prefer bugs. I find them more fun and engaging. More fun. Um, bots are more engaging, but they're fucking stressful. You just go where the major order dictates. If it's up to me and I'm not following any any specific orders, I'm probably gonna choose bug. Because again, I find them more fun. But I have a good time with bots too. Well, they're not very spidery, the bugs, thankfully. They look like Tyranids. I love Tyranids.
Then like Gangnam Style for a sec. <laughs> something there better than nothing I need some of this because he's got some straps and stuff that I want to get No, this track.
Lovely. Uh, EDF, I've never played EDF, um, because from what I've seen, the bugs look particularly buggy, and I don't know if they'll, uh... I don't know if they'd be too much for me, but it looks like fun. I need a metallic. I also need to do this. Grabbed a couple uh, fresh paint. Giant jumping tarantulas everywhere. Oh yeah, no, I couldn't do that. Hey, Pilbot. Yeah, no, that would be too much for me. The Dragon Age spiders are too much for me, you know? pill That's a leather pouch, not a metallic pouch.
for your uh, weekly battle tech. Nice, dude, nice. I haven't much looked at Battletech. I like the idea of Battletech. It's cool in concept, but I don't love the models. The models are a big reason I love 40k. Apparently the game of Battletech is really good. It does look like camo, Sean. Okay, I'm glad because I've been worried that it didn't look like camo and it just looked like you'd fucking left it out in the rain or something. Play Mech Warrior. I bought Mech Warrior to play with you and Rain Dog, and then um, you guys stopped playing it, and Armored Core Six came out. <laughs> I did buy it though. Battletech turn-based game. Very excellent. Well, apparently the tabletop's very good. I just don't fancy starting another miniature model collection. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> maybe the uh, video game's the way to go. these metallic i think camo vibes coming through for sure okay cool i was worried I'm, I'm glad that i'm glad that it was immediately noticeable as like an urban camp i think i still need to darken it a little bit more but Just a smidge too bright. Hey.
Yeah, no, Battletech seems awesome. Everything I've seen from it, it's just the models I don't love. I, uh, I got a mate, Mech Frog. He does all sorts of Battletech stuff. I did his logos for his um, YouTube channel. Lovely dude. Apparently quite popular in the Battletech space. But I'm not super familiar with it. So. Can't wait for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I'm going to be doing the first one very soon. Do we have a release date for the second one? This year. I'll take this year. This year works for me. Yeah, Space Marine 2 as well. I need to play Space Marine 1. All these sequels coming out to games I never got around to playing the first one of. Come the fuck on. There you go. Man, I, I, I do like Citadel paints. I like them a lot. But I do not like these fucking pots. No space outlaw. I like the name. Yeah, Sean, it's good. I like the name.
you almost can't see the fuck up. Almost. Evie, good morning. How are you? Dirty boy. He's a dirty boy. Ready for a coffee? I feel that. Stand no man. Now, the writing's on the wall. It won't go away. It's an no man. Can you hear it? It sounds like omen. Now. Yeah, there won't be a stream tomorrow. No fucking way. Because we're on at nine-ish, I think. I think we're nine to 9.30. Um, which means I'll be getting off stage between 9.30 and 10. Lingering around and chatting to everyone and watching the other bands and, you know, all that stuff. Um... Then driving home, uh, I won't get in bed until like midnight the earliest to then get up and do a stream within five hours of that after a big night out, playing a gig. Yeah, pretty low chance I'll have the fucking energy to, to jump on and then play Final Fantasy Tactics. So I think instead I will stay in bed and then tomorrow we're doing a catch up with Carl's, Previs, Rain, Marigold. Uh, we still haven't decided on where to do that yet. Um, my house isn't exactly the cleanest it's ever been. It's not fucking dirty, it's just messy. Um, I don't know what kind of state we're in to have guests, but you know, fuck it. You guys, you guys know me, you know how I live. Don't tell anyone how I live. You guys could probably just come around here. I don't know. So that'll be like again in the afternoon sometime. Well after I've rested. And then, yeah, we'll come back the next day with tactics and um, I'll do a big old tactics set. And it'll be sick. Speaking of sick, look at this fucking guy.
Oh, yeah, Evie, I mentioned it before because I was like, you know, everyone was saying we're going to catch up and I was giving everyone a heads up that you guys might not be able to make it. Which fucking blows, but, you know. No stress, no fresh. No fresh. Did anyone say that? Is that a phrase that anyone has ever used? You know, no fresh. I've decided immediately that I hate it. Think ID is going to be needed? I don't think so. Rain's not bringing any. I don't think Sev has any either. I can't imagine it'll be a problem. Worst case, even if it's expired, bring it. Because then it's still like proof of something. I think you'll be right. Cool. I'm gonna let him dry. Go for another dart. Buying drinks might be an issue. No, they wouldn't let you in. Uh, once you're inside, they're not gonna check ID at the bar because that's what the guy at the door is for. If the guy at the door has cleared you to come inside, you're not going to need a check ID at the door, at that bar. The venues are 18 plus, you know. I'm going to go have this. We'll come back and I'll uh, start putting in the last details. We're getting close. Getting very close. He's looking pretty fucking schmick. See you guys soon.
got back at like the perfect time where I know I'm going to have to flip this disc. Sick. Welcome back. Starting to look pretty fucking cool. Got to do something about the gun. And then it's some highlights. Just realized I also forgot one color that I need. Make some camo wrap for the gun? Yeah. That'd be cool. Weaver Bird. I've had a look to say thanks for the chill. Chill vibes while you try your first go at Elden Ring, yeah? It's all good. Elden Ring, huh? Sworn out that a few times. I almost threw a controller once. <laughs> yeah, they get like that. I feel ya. Good on you for giving it a crack. Rough game. No shit, Mel. In a good way?
I haven't really, I haven't really been in contact with anyone that I was friends with. And I've still got a high school friend or two, but... Out of that, not really. Only in... I, I, I semi-regularly see uh, one of my high school friends because she's friends with my guitarist. She comes to gigs every now and then. Came to Bonnie Vaux with me and Sev. That was cool. Otherwise, I don't really... Talk to anyone from high school. Definitely no one younger than that. Like, no one from primary school or anything. A lot of the time, I think you end up discovering that you're only friends with people because you saw them every day. Not because you actually had anything in common. That's why a lot of high school friendships don't continue being friends. Some do. Just as a general thing, most don't. Same with work friends, you know, you make friends at a place you work and then you stop working there and suddenly you stop talking to those people. It's like, oh, right, we just spoke every day because we had to. Talk to one person from high school you've been friends with since even before then. Birthdays and Christmas, yeah. Yeah, I've got friends that, you know, they'll send me a birthday message, I'll send them a birthday message, then we won't talk. For sure. And they'll only know because they've got me on Facebook and Facebook tells you. Not like anyone's keeping track of that stuff. But even then, like, the, the classic message someone on their birthday thing post on people's wall on their birthday on Facebook, like, even that I've stopped doing, I just can't be fucked. Get a bit awkward about it. When people post on mine. It's 
one way to do it, Mill. I um I graduated high school. I finished it. Stressed about it way more than I needed to. And then I got to uni, and then I was like, ah, I don't want to do any more of that. <laughs> I did one year of university, and then I I just didn't go back. I learned a lot in that year. Um, I don't regret doing it. And I had my days where I'm like, oh, what if I'd stuck with it, you know? My life would be very different. Probably be, uh, if I'd stuck with it and actually stuck with my life plan that I'd originally come up with, I'd probably be working in a law firm right now. Um, let's see if I could get work in the industry. I don't know what kind of know how hard it is to get work in the legal field now, but if I'd finished my studies, done all right on my uh you know exams and stuff who knows who knows how different life could be but you know i didn't take that route took a very different route and this is where i'm at and you know wouldn't change it certainly things that i would change but they've resulted in me being who I am and where I'm at, so maybe not. I don't know. Hard to make those calls. I think if I was given the chance to go back and do it all over again, I would do everything I've done just more streamlined. <laughs> certain people it is wild weaver The old what if. But as rough as things have been and as unhappy with certain parts of my life that I am, I have some really cool stuff in my life, you know? I love my partner. I love my cat. I love this stream. I love my band. I don't want to lose those things. Well, that's exactly right, Rain. 100%. Learning experiences and all that. And so for that exact reason, I can't say I would change much of anything. Yeah, Evie, that's what I mean. Like, I would put myself exactly where I am now but I would just make different decisions to make where I'm at right now better. You know? Invest in Bitcoin early, you know?
Holy shit, Weaver, that's mental. I was going to say you dodged a bullet there, but by the sounds of it, you literally dodged a bullet. Dude, have I told you the story about my old hairdresser? And Bitcoin? Fuck me. I wonder what he's doing these days. Living on a private yacht somewhere. Yeah, it used to be super cheap. Yeah, my, my old hairdresser, to keep it, there's a long version of the story, but the short version is, um, he told me at some point in time, oh, they're only worth about five cents each, but I've got a couple hundred of them. And it adds up. That's the short version. The long version is he was telling me to get on it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Mike. having a hairdresser yeah that's how long ago this was <laughs> he cut my hair from when i was in uh prep so you know first year of school year zero of primary school all the way through till uh i was in year eight in school so pretty much my uh, you know it's school photo day we're gonna go see mike the hairdresser It's uh, footy photo day. We're going to go see Mike the hairdresser. We're going to a family do. Let's go see Mike the hairdresser. He was the only one I ever trusted to cut my hair. Anytime I let anyone else in that shop do it, they fucked it up. Never looked good. And you'd go in there. And the other hairdressers would have nothing to do because there'd be five or six people sitting in their shop waiting for Mike because he was the best one they had.
Very good man. Someone that I like, if he actually did turn out to be a bajillionaire in it now, or even if he just got a couple hundred thousand and he's, you know, happy with that and he's where he wants to be. He's one of those people that it's like, good, you know? He was a very, very good person. The amount of times I'd go there and I maybe wouldn't have enough for the haircut. He wouldn't bother charging me. He didn't run the place. I just wouldn't tell anyone. You know, or, you know, he charged me for a simple haircut. Uh, but do way more than that. You know? <laughs> He's a good dude. I have no idea where he is now. I couldn't tell you his last name. Never got his last name. So, uh, yeah, I've got no idea where he's at now in life, but wherever he's at, I hope he's doing all right. Spin this disc. You're kidding, you ain't getting Bitcoin. No, I saw him again a couple times, like after I'd like I'd get my hair trimmed and stuff, or get my beard trimmed, you know, once I was out of high school, but karaoke. Didn't know the karaoke songs were on this. didn't know that if the last disc is just karaoke songs I'm going to be very happy. Hope Horizons, what's up, dude? And it's the full version. Planning out tonight. Are you coming tonight? Got your coach back home? Fuck. This is such a good song for Ichiban. A little bit sad, but it's mostly just a hopeful little song. 
for a hopeful little guy. Alucard, what's going on, dude? You coming tonight as well? Fucking oath. Full party. Yeah, there's a fair few cunts coming. Fucking sick. Wish we were playing longer than a 30 minute set, you know? Yeah, by the sounds. Pretty solid crew. What do we got? Rain, Marigold, potentially Evie and Rob, Carls and Previs, Sev, I think Beersy's coming, Alucard, Edstar, Hope, Lacey, Scotsman. Like 13 people. Basically a Twitch made up at this point. Hopefully it'll be a better show than the last one time. <laughs> the last one everyone came to. That one sucked. That was like the worst show we'd ever played and it was the one that fucking everyone was there for. Got a Joker Batman action figure ad? Wait, really?
All right, what's he missing? A little bit of tidy up on the armor panels, some highlighting. I'm going to try and re-camo the cloak a little. Because it's lost all of that camo because I washed it twice. Um, we'll highlight the armor panels, clean up where I've missed, add a little uh, glow on the side of the rifle. Then he's done, I reckon. What time is it? Quarter past ten. Beautiful. I don't know what to do about the base. Maybe we won't base him today. Just focus on painting the rest of it. Um. All right, let me have a look at this cloak. See if I can get this uh, camo pattern looking like a camo pattern. I need a kind of rough brush. Something kind of frayed. This one might do it. Oh, yeah, sick. I hope it fucking all good, brother. Oh, well, I'll, um, we'll work on getting you sorted out then, bro. How's things been with you anyway, dude? I know you've been um, moving up and down and left and right and all over the fucking shop. Yeah, I mean, we'll spin it here for fuck's sake. You're listening to it. Uh, 
I haven't yet, but... Because I didn't want to fuck it up. You got banned from Cody's chat? Why? What happened? Did you get executed or banned? There's a difference. Because of the bet. Oh, yeah? Is that the Boshy bet? Hope made all sorts of big claims about beating Boshy. And then obviously because Boshy's fucked. It got hectic. means you'll have to hang out here with me more. Thanks, man.
sand at the end of the disc, okay? Closer to how I wanted it to look. Much closer. I need to do more stuff up here. But definitely something cool happening. stuff a little bit darker because there's no light under there so there would be well there's light but not nearly as much but it should be darker up underneath all of this business then i will come back and do some last highlights, and I think he's done. But I'm gonna go take a piss and have one last smoke, I think. I have the impression now that Boshi's overhyped in this time of Twitch social environment. Dude, Boshi is not at all what it used to be in the Twitch sphere, you know? It used to be, if you play Boshi, and you, you know, people are gonna watch every minute of that and watch you win, and, you know, it's not the case. I know people who started a Boshi run with one to two viewers and nine months later ended a Boshi run with two to three viewers. <laughs> like, it really, it's not the game. It's people want to watch certain people play something like that. It's just not what it used to be. But Twitch is not what it used to be. So, you know. Also true, yeah, Boshi isn't really known outside of uh, a pretty niche group. 
uh, on a pretty niche website. <laughs> like, I know Twitch is the biggest streaming space, but it's still niche. Twitch is still a niche. You, the more you shrink it down, you know? It's only gonna do so much. And that crowd is getting lesser and lesser every day. I've still said that I'll do it, but it's not nearly as interesting to me as other things. What's interesting to me right now is taking a piss. Give me five minutes, I shall return.
Alrighty. Go for a little bit longer. I'm just going to fucking get this boy looking a little bit. He's a bit dark and drab at the moment, which normally I go for. But I want to make him pop a little bit. And I'll handle the base later. So, I want... Uh, not you. The you. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. It's been, um... Been chill. Tonight's gonna be pretty fucking sick. Got a lot of, uh... A lot of people coming out. I'm very excited for. It's gonna be a big night. But I'm very excited. Excited to meet some people and meet some people for the first time and see some see some old friends. So I just like playing gigs. Have some dumbbells. You're yeah, nice, man. Do reps whenever you get stressed. <laughs> You'll be shredded in a month, bro. One push up every time he feels sad. Transformed old, yeah. <laughs> Never do legs, ever. You want to go for that Dorito shape as best you can. Hi, baby. lost their phone.
Cool. Um, let's grab don't know what else to grab Maybe some more ammo on the hood and the top of the backpack. And some black to clean up the panels that I fucked up. Uh -huh, bro. Hi. Are you going to jump up the menace again? Been very good today. Yeah, there you are. Right on paint. No, I actually did all right. I don't have a lot of panels to clean up. Awesome, Evie. Can't wait. How cool. The crew gets big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my friend. Yeah, well fucking chuffed. I'm chuffed. That makes me chuffed. How oh, cool. Can't wait. 
to be a pretty fucking solid knot by the sounds of it. can see that he hasn't got oh. no. alright easy fix well not easy but Fixable. Quite a, quite a pain in the ass, to be honest, but it's all right. Very fixable. I'm going to fix it with this brown. If one can be chuffed, does that mean one can also chuff? Absolutely you can. You never tried chuffing before? I've chuffed. Good workout. Problem solved. I think. Problem solved. Mutton chops is cheek chops. <laughs> Got a bit of chuff on you, son. This disc, do some lighting.
Call it a day. <coughs> uh, and we're going to do that with... Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't put your face in it. Oh my god. Cats. Um. Hi. What do I do about this? I swear I got some crazy dick bowls going on this shit. <laughs> What do I do about this? You're lucky you're adorable. All right, I got some white. Loaf. You want some loaf? Cat loaf, anyone? <laughs> Cat loaf, anyone? <laughs> I'll catch you a slice. Come on. Yeah. You can sit literally anywhere else. Literally anywhere else, sweetie. Okay. Got some white. Got some fucking white. Does he have any other glowies? 
Maybe that one actually. Let that dry. And then we'll do green glow, red glow. And a kind of bluey glow. She's still sitting here, by the way. <laughs> she hasn't moved. Classic, cl classic, classic stealth camper. It's like a shadow in the night. I need to go darker. Metro Racer, what's up, dude? How are you? How you been? How's life?
I'm worried that if I do more, I'll ruin it because it's looking pretty cool. Concrete. Only two AM gonna leave for work in an hour and a half. Fucking hell, man. I appreciate you popping by to say hi. Hope life has been kind to you, dude. This sounds like the start of, um, They Say by Scars on Broadway. Really trying not to fuck this up. By doing something like that. Oh, uh, well, shit, that sounds kind of important. I hope, I, yeah, I'd. <laughs> I feel like uh, that takes precedence over coming out to a gig. Should probably fucking look into fixing that. Jesus. Oh, dude, we've got a gig every month for the next, like, two months. Three months or so. It's cool. There'll be plenty more. This just, this one's just become a bit of a thing because, um, people are traveling. Well, Rainbow Zilla's going to be there tonight, too. Rainbow Zilla and her partner. No, it really isn't. It really is a full on Twitch meetup, isn't it? Pre 
everything's overrated anyway. So what is he standing on here? Like that looks like brick or something. What would you call that? I see the little bits of metal. Like, what the fuck is that? Roof texture. I don't know about all that, Rain Dog. That sounds like a fucking conspiracy. Like, obviously, that's like a metal edging. That, that's easy, but what the fuck do I do about... The other stuff that's there. Like... Do I make it metallic? Do I make it more concrete-y? I don't really know what to call that. Let me see what other people have done. This guy's just made it metallic. Oh, sorry. Uh, concrete -y. A big novelty bow tie. Then I say... Make it like rainbow, like clown, clown colors. Like a proper big novelty bow tie. With some like water trickling out the side. Because someone shook their hand and got done with water in the face. brush the concrete the edges of this so that they are very clearly two different textures despite being similar colors And paint those bullets with a quick color of bullet. A sniper round. 
Not the actual bullet, but the fucking cartridge thing. Whatever you call that. I don't make guns. The ejected part of the gun. The casing. The casing. Came to me. Just as you said it. Um, what color are they? <laughs> I mean, I suppose that can be anything I want, right? But brass, bronze, brass, copper, the bullet cup. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it holds the bullet and keeps him warm and safe until he gets shot out at high speeds. Edge is going to get done with metallics. That's all going to get washed out. He's almost done. We're very close. It's getting late in the day, though. Let me just get... I need that uh, base part to dry. Let me flip this disc again. I'm just going to keep flipping the same one. and all of that down dry brush it and pretty happy to call him finished hey Cal how you doing I am you know I'm good I'm all right I complain I can complain I won't complain I'm all right how are you doing how you been? There's a cat scratching the fuck out of my chair. I should just let her do it. She's already done it. Let her do it this long. Busy, stressed with clients, but uh, full body tracking for VR. Dang. That can't have been easy or cheap to set up. Hectic. That's really cool.
you guys see what I'm doing or not? Cool. And a month's income, tons of fun though. That's hectic. I bet you get I bet you're getting more than your money's worth. That's really cool. Do not do it now. Of all time, now is not the time. Something controversial in 40k? Oh, well, there's always something controversial going on with those fucking nerds. Uh. Games Workshop announced a female custodies space marine. Which, fuck yeah, right? Awesome. But for some reason, the fucking sooks are like, No, women can't be space marines. I'm determined to only ever look at men. But I'm straight. I just hate women. Fucking joke. That's all it is. Yeah, they announced, they announced a female space marine. That's it. And there are like players i mean i'm sure they're not actually players but there are people saying like i'm gonna throw away all of my models and i'm never gonna buy it again because you ruined the law all right you big dumb idiot let me buy them from you for less than a fraction of the price you paid Yeah, that's the big Warhammer controversy. Women exist. But it messes with the law. You know that law that's always changing and is being constantly rewritten to suit us so we can sell different models? Yeah. It fucks with that. Fucking war dolls, bro. We are no different than people who collect Barbie. Ours just have guns.
Bronies with extra steps. No, I would trust a Warhammer player with my children. Sorry. Sorry. I had to. It fell out. I'm sorry. what bronies say usually sorry it just fell out Okay. We're almost there. The whole Cadia thing was a big law rewrite. Yeah. Yeah, him talking about female custodies. That's apparently a big problem. Fucking ridiculous. Thanks, Cal. Oh. You really got an art, oh, sweetie. It's wet. It's wet. You're gonna get paint all over yourself, and then you're gonna lick it up. Then I'm gonna be the bad guy because I fed you paint. Like the vegan police, yeah. Paint water, don't drink it. You can't drink paint water. They'll lock me up. What 
are you doing? What are you doing? Best cat in the fucking world. Love her to death. Um, Whoa, nice hey. graphics! I'd like to get my hands on that game. Who's that now? Hold on. Move everything so she doesn't keep putting hair and everything. Someone bought Haru a fucking cat toy off of my throne wish list. Who was that? Oh. Anonymous. Some kindly anonymous stranger. Got some little, little mouse cat toys. She loves mice. They're her favorite toys. All of her favorite toys have been m mice. Obviously she needs something to play with. She has so many things. Come on. Away from there, please. Let's go. Over here. Over here. Put on your feet. Is that in your... You've got something in your nail. Can I look at that, please? You've got something in your... <laughs> You've got something under your claw. Can I get it? <laughs> Thank you very much kindly anonymous stranger who I now think might have been him. Who was him? Him? Haru will be very grateful when it arrives. What are you doing? You've got something under there. Can I get it? I've got it. It was a piece of my chair. Serious? Okay. I'll paint around you. That's fine. We'll make it work. You stay there. We'll make it work. And thank you very, very much. More cat toys for Haru is never, ever, ever a bad thing. It's really sweet of you. Thank you. We weren't sure if she liked her cat fountain that Nova got. But she seemed to be ignoring it. And I was like, hmm, what's going on there? And then she, uh, slowly the water seemed to be going down. And then Sev caught her having a sneaky, sneaky late night drink. She just didn't want us to know she liked it. She's a cat. The cats are fucking crazy. Don't drink it.
I did forget an important step on these guys. I'm hoping maybe I can salvage it. Okay, that's going to need a minute to dry because he's quite moist. What the fuck time is it? Uh, Hemp, thank you again for the gift. Uh, fucking hell, it's 11.30. All right. One last Siggy. Last one for the day. Because I do need to wrap up. It's getting late and I'm hungry. One last Siggy. Give him a chance to dry. We'll do the base. Final touches. We'll call it a day. And I also want to try and get this cat off my desk. See you soon. Hello. How we doing? Today's been a very chill day. It's exactly what I needed. It's gonna be a big night tonight, I think, and um, conserve some energy. I'm fucking hungry though. We've got some tuna bake in the fridge. I'm gonna eat the fuck out of that tuna bag. Made it last night. Um, okay, so really the last thing that I need to do is dry brush um, a lot of this concrete that he's standing on. 
Oh, it's so easy. It's so quick. Uh, while I wait for that last thing to dry, is there anything else? I'm pretty happy with him. He's a bit grey, but I mean, it's camo. He's meant to st he's meant to blend in, you know. That's the point. Ooh. This paint's getting a little old, I think. Oh no, it's still good. A little crunchy, a little crispity, but it's all right. But no, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out today, guys. I'll be seeing some of you tonight, which I'm very excited for. Whoops. Right. Mayo, what's going on? How are you? One day, Echidna, one day I'll play up your neck of the woods. to talk the boys into touring. Expensive to tour. Dust, my dry brush color. Same as a tuna casserole, kinda. I assume they're very similar. Okay, pasta bake, but with tuna in it. Damn funny.
I think I'm pretty happy to call him done. Thanks, sub. Uh, as always, I'll take some proper photos of him. I'll take some proper photos of him after. But. In actual military use, he's less convincing camo. <laughs> Sorry, last touch. The last thing that I do on every model that I paint. And it's sort of my sign to myself that a model is finished. At least finished, you know, for now. I can always come back and fix stuff later, but... That's giving him a rim job. Which is just spinning off all of the... Dry brushing and any leftover stuff that I missed. shits between y'all. I don't know fuck all about the military and I like it that way. Beautiful. Presets? Yeah, there was a song earlier that sounded like Omen from the Prodigy. My friends, that is a is a is a finished model. That's a job done later stream than I expected. It's uh, almost midday, which is later than I normally go, but hey, fuck it. I got tomorrow off. I got a big night tonight. Nothing wrong with taking a little bit of extra time to get this model looking schmick. And schmick, I think he does look. Metro Racer, perfect timing. My man. You're 34 months. 
Welcome back, brother. And he's been here a lot longer than that, I tell you what. Metro was one of the first people here. Way back in 2017. Uh, again, I'll post photos in Discord and uh, on Twitter and stuff after, but yeah, for now. It's a job done. Sub, you've been, in, you've been here since then too, haven't you? 2017? Around fucking ever as well. Feb 7, 2017. That's five days after my first ever stream, dude. You've been here since my first week of streaming. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucked. my friends that is where i will leave you uh for the day uh and i won't be here tomorrow but i will be here the day after that thank you for hanging out with me thank you for keeping me company while i um painted the fuck out of this guy i'm gonna go and take it easy get some food um oh that's still a very long time of getting no fucking hell um, and I will be seeing some of you tonight. Thank you, everybody, um, for your time, your company. Um, for your support. Um, thanks for everything, guys. It's been a really cool day, and um, I always enjoy doing this. Uh, I will see some of you tonight. I will see some of you tomorrow. Um, catching up with stuff. Um, and I will see the rest of you day after tomorrow for some Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, if I don't see you um, for that Final Fantasy Tactics stream, then I'll see you next week for more Dragon Age 2, for more potentially mini painting, for more... Um, uh, fucking stuff i don't know i had a word there and i lost it thank you all very much for looking after me for supporting the show uh and for being lovely wonderful beautiful people who hang out with me while i'm painting minis and <laughs> taking it easy you know this feels like almost a day off I'm just looking for someone for us to send a Twitch raid out to. Um, perfect. We'll go there. Um, thank you all. For everything. I'm going to go get some food. I'm fucking hungry. If I'm not seeing you tonight, I'm not seeing you tomorrow, if I'm not seeing you this week at all, I will see you whenever I see you. And until I see you, please stay safe. Don't die. And take care. See you guys around.
Whatever. That's fine. Fine. <laughs>